chairman of Brunswick. Terrific guy. He uh, is the man that rejuvenated bowling in the Olympic Games, and he deserves so much credit, but he looks so great enjoying a more peaceful time than being chairman and CEO of a great corporation. Okay, Chris, the semifinals, the red-hot Dave D'Entremont, his last three games on national television last week, 258. He's opened with 259, 258 this week. He has his hands full, though, with Danny Wiseman, the man who qualified second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, points to the right lane. He wanted that to happen on this lane. Well, that's the first time he's really had the solid 10 on the left-hand lane. It's kind of plagued him on the right-hand lane, but he's quickly up and hits it right in the middle. So it's a spare for D'Entremont in his third game this afternoon. Now, Danny Wiseman, Baltimore, Maryland. Six titles. His third appearance on TV. He has two-thirds this year. I'll tell you, this guy's been so successful in the championship rounds, Bards. 230 mm -hmm. average in his career, the number one. And he gets on a roll. He has just the ideal strike ball. He doesn't have quite as much power as Dave D'Entremont, but he's not weak either. He has enough to handle all 10 pins, that 36 pounds down there, but not too much to keep it out of control. Now, watch his eyes. He looks down focuses on his target, and then stays solid with his head. Uh, even that brings a smile. <laughs> As Jess Stayrook likes to say, hit him light and watch him fight. Here we go. The head pin does all the work. Watch the head pin. Left sideboard comes out and takes the two, four, five, and seven out. A terrific break for Wiseman. Dave D'Entremont started with a spare. There he gets them all in the second frame of the semifinal game leading to the final. Waiting to bowl the winner of this game is Dave Arnold. He was the number one seed. He's from Gilbert, Arizona, with two championships. Incidentally, from the top seed, he's 1-0. Dientremont's best shot of the day. As many good balls as he's rolled, Chris, he just got a complete mm -hmm. handful that time. You see the pins just being sucked off like a vacuum sweeper. Double up third frame. Eight. Crowd reaction tells the story here, and Danny's reaction. Just a sweet shot right between the second and third arrows. Bam. Too many solid wraps. Just as smooth as the Bulls is. Dorothy Potter. Danny's mother looking on. Danny, an all-around bowler. He plays duck pins over in the East Coast. There's Dorothy. There she is. She picked up a lucky penny last night. Told me it's a 1992 heads up. She says Danny will be lucky today. So far, he's had one bad break in the third frame. Okay, four frames, three strikes, 69 through the third. We're in our semifinal, and we'll see more of Danny after this. Yes, here are those uh, Brunswick temporary lanes here at Harper College, and Fred Florjanic, uh, president of Brunswick Indoor Recreation Group. That big smile and rightfully slow, so because it's been very successful. And all the cheering you hear, uh, Bill Winnington of the Chicago Bulls just walked in, and I told you it was a week for bowling and bowls. There's a big guy. He's trailing. No, he's up by one. 
Now he's up by 11 as we go to Nelson Burton Jr. Thank you, Chris. Brian Goble, very solid game. Nobody misses the pocket. It's, uh, do you think it's pure luck to win a game out there when every ball's in the pocket, or is it uh, a combination? I think power has a lot to do with it on the lanes right now. You're going to hit the pocket. Whoever can uh, overpower the other guy, and Dave certainly is stronger than I am. So, Tough match. How about Dave Arnold, our tournament leader? It doesn't bode well for him. He doesn't have much power at all. He's got his hands full, but you never know. He's a great bowler. He'll right. pull something out. Good luck the rest of the year. Back to you, Chris. All right. And with the scout moving over, taking out the 10 pin, it's a 21 pin lead for Dave D'Entremont, and here's Bo again. Hey, Chris, with me is Dave Arnold. Dave, uh, he says that uh, the power is going to win today, yet you got the most control out there. What do you think about that? Well, I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, I still have something to say about that, and uh, we'll see what happens. Chris, he's 1-0 from the number one spot. He's not going to give it up easily. Good luck, David. All right, Denny coming up with a double, cutting the lead to 11 pins now here in the semifinal match. Danny calling for a re-rack. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. And uh, Johnny Campos, our tournament director, is back here uh, this week after Dave Schroeder filled in for him last week. The eyes have it with Danny. He really has solid preparation. As I said once before, look at how steady his head is and how focused his eyes are. <laughs> All right, there's the St. John's product. Wennington played some last night, practice this morning, and of course play again tomorrow against Miami. Beautiful string. Coming up next in ABC's Wide World of Sports, we'll travel to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the men's and women's event finals in the World Gymnastics Championships presented by State Farm. And from Churchill Downs, the Kentucky Derby Preview presented by Visa. That's next, Wide World of Sports here on ABC. Dave D'Intermont started with a solid 10, has followed with five consecutive strikes, seventh frame, leads by 11, trying to make it 21 semifinal game. <laughs> Fifth 10 pin for D'Entremont today, and there's just not much you can do about that, Chris. The game is not designed to strike every time. However, when you have as much power as he has, you have to worry about the pins flying over each other. All right. 10 pin lead by this man, D'Entremont, Danny Weissman. Look at that shot by our expert ABC cameraman. Look at the crowd. 4,100. Arena Bowling, Harper College, and on stage here in the semifinal game, Danny Weissman trailing by 10. He has a three-bagger working, shooting in the seventh frame against Dave D'Entremont. The full approach, the long slide, and he keeps his hand right under that ball. Obvious pull there, slightly inside his target. He was aiming just inside the second arrow, just hit a little right of the third arrow. When you pull with two boards, you're not going to get the desired result. The four pin has tightened this match as Denny trails by 11. So smooth at the line. So sweet. Well, you know, Chris, he developed his game a little bit through duck pins, a game played back on the East Coast with a four and a half pound ball about the size of a softball. And mm -hmm. uh, he says his duck pin average is about 130. They're just smaller little pins, and that's pretty credible. Pretty good left handed bowler. Average is 190 left handed. So he can do it as long as he's got a ball in his hand. But right now, he's got Dave D'Intermont and 11 pins to worry about. <laughs> All right. 
Strike in the eighth frame for Denny. 168 through seven. Now with the spare working, shooting in the eighth frame, Dave DeAntremont. Won two matches with scores of 258 and 259, 20 strikes. This game he has a possible 269, Wiseman a possible 258. This is the crit the critical frame. You don't want to go to the 10th without a chance. there but too deep. Well the requiem for D'Entremont if he doesn't win this tournament will be the 10 pin. He has left six 10 pins in less than three games or he would be near perfect. He hasn't lost this match yet though. It's up for grabs. The winner to meet Dave Arnold of Arizona. There you see on the left. Lenny Nicholson, the retiring lane maintenance director for the PBA, and Larry Glickstein for meritorious service category. He is a member of the PBA Hall of Fame. Congratulations, and Lenny, have a good retirement. Okay, tomorrow on ABC Sports, we'll go to Pennsylvania for the Bosch Spark Park Grand Prix. The race begins at 2 Eastern, 1 Central, and Pacific, and a show that was 35 years in the making. Muhammad Ali, Nadia Komanich, and Michelle Kwan are just a few of the stars you'll see on ABC's Wide World of Sports 35th Anniversary Special presented by Cigna. That's all tomorrow here on ABC Sports. 35 years of excellence. And a man that had so much to do it is here today, our Senior Vice President, Denny Lewin. Congratulations, Denny. The first huge error of the championship in the semifinal game, the 10th frame, Danny sends it too wide, too soft, throws it right through the heart, the 4-6. He has opened the door for Dave D'Intermont to just waltz in. All he needs to do or try to do is at least bounce one of these pins out. It's very difficult to slide the 4-6 over. A dejected, you're not going to do it that way, son. You've got to throw it real hard. Right now for Dave D'Intermont, it's a very simple task in front of him. He only needs eight pins on the first ball. Wow, he's sitting on that bench and he's thinking, what a gift. Of course, he's nailed the pocket every shot, Chris. And if he needed it, and I doubt it, there's this little added motivation right here. And, of course, distress for Danny. Eight pins or more, he'll meet Dave Arnold for the Tournament of Champions title. Lock jaws. All right, Dave D'Entremont. Danny Wiseman with a 224, and of course, D'Entremont.